but we all have this image of who our child's going to be. And when they aren't that, it's difficult. But the grief that I think you mentioned is such a valid um, emotion and one that I think we don't talk about it a lot. The other words that really um, caught my attention, loneliness, like that this is, it can feel like a really solitary journey. You were talking about uh, the loneliness and how that, how it feels and when you're in it, like as a parent anyway, you're constantly thinking, okay, what, what do I, like, how do I manage this? How do I juggle the, the routine and, and, and the food and what we're going to eat and how we're going to like organize that. Like, but I, I know that looking back, I've been in a state of survival mode for so long that when I do see something or from like I was looking at my journal the other day about her procedure, I have not had a chance to process everything yet. And I, as I speak, I still have not had a chance to process it all because we don't have time to do that. There's, there's something, there's always something that needs our attention with our child or with the treatment or with the schedule or with insurance companies. You know, people are always like, what's one thing you wish people would tell you before you became a parent? And I, I would always say, I wish they told you that it's relentless, right? Like, like that, the, the, um, the sleep and this, and it's the joy too, right? But this kind of relentlessness doesn't allow space for rejuvenation.